All right, guys, so we're going to do a quick little run of cornfield chips today, and we're going to do it by using Apache Dart Chip Spam. This is a bit of a mid-tower, but I feel like if you give it the right buffs and put it on the right map, such as this one, you know, maps that have just one lane, I feel like Apache is, uh, might do a little bit better than what people perceive them to be. Now, of course, we can't start with a helipod because it's 1.7k, so we're going to have to build our way into there first, and to do that, I'm probably going to do Dart Monkeys into Geraldo. In terms of supporting the Apaches, Geraldo is not a bad option because he has that sharpening stone, which gives uh, more pierce, more damage to sharp projectiles, which the Apache does shoot. At least half of it, um, its attacks are sharpened. So let's go ahead and get him here for round 10. We'll probably drop like a turret or two to build our way into 1.7k. And the cool thing about uh, Cornfield is that you can place the turrets in spots that you normally can't because of its super tiny hitbox. So for example, I could place a turret right here, so normally you can only place one tiny tower, but again, since it's such a tiny hitbox, you can fit it between the slivers on this map, which is pretty sick, and allows for more space in the early game. Because right now I do want to leave this space on the bottom for my first heli pilot, and then go on from there. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure a Geraldo's buff is going to be the best one in terms of all the heroes, because it's basically a permanent buff. Once you give the Sharpening Stone to the Apache, all the darts would be doing more pierce, more damage versus someone like, say, Pat, for example. I think he'd be the second best choice. While Pat's buff does give more damage, it doesn't have full uptime, so I think Geraldo in this case would be more preferable. Anyways, round 19, we can get our first heli pilot, and now we're on our way. Anyways, we're lacking a bit of lead popping, so let's go ahead and get an AMD buff early. And yeah, what I could do is probably give a sharpening stone to this current heli. But the thing is, I did take a look at the stats, and when I get up to Apache, the Pierce on the Sharpening Stone doesn't really do much. It's really the damage I'm looking at, because remember guys, if a tower does one damage and you give it plus one, well, that's basically double damage, right? But say a tower has seven Pierce, which the uh, Apache darts do, and you give it plus one, which the Sharpening Stone does, that's a very measly increase, and sometimes you might not even notice it if, like, there's not enough balloons on the screen where it doesn't get pierce capped. So yeah, I think if I can, I'm gonna lay off of building this until I get, uh, level 15. I think that's when you get the upgraded sharpening stone. It's also a good thing that we're playing on Cornfield, which is an advanced map, so that heroes a little bit faster, which means we probably get the level 15 pretty quickly relative to, like, an easy map. Now, as for round 40 here, I'm hoping that Razor Rotors plus Alpha Buff plus Stronger Drums is good enough. Let's take a little DPS. Razor Rotor is not bad with the Quad Darts. Practically solo is the uh, Moab on Pursuit, so that's cool. I'm going to try to see if I can save up for the 21.1k upgrade right now. I think the 40s do give you about that amount of cash, but obviously it's not guaranteed that this defense can make it all the way there. Of course, if anything, we just drop a quick like Maelstrom or a Hot Pepper. Those are the cheapest options if you want to get a first Apache as soon as possible. In terms of what other buffs I want to give it, Honestly, not too much other than Alpha Buff and Jungle Jones. We'll see how, the, I guess, this game goes. I mean, if we really need to, we'll go uh, the extra mile with support, like more Blue, Sabo, uh, you name it. And possibly a couple other options as well that I won't mention right now. But we'll, we'll see if I ever uh, need to go for it as the game progresses. So yeah, this is the round where there's a lot of ceramics. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, use Hot Fire there. Gotta clear with the ceram clumps. Because, yeah, ain't no way I'm surviving the early 50s with just this guy. I think we'll probably get the 21.1k after this round, right? Yes, sir. All right, round 52 Apache Dart Chip. Next on the table is probably a 401 out buff, and then a second heli, probably down here. Although, I think I made a minor mistake. Well, at least for the early game, um, I had to place two Dark Monkeys here to beat round 6. But the problem is now that if I place a heli down here, which is the closest, I can really place it in the available spot. The out buff probably won't drop the potion on it because the out buff throws the big buff based on the, you know, vicinity of towers. So these ones are probably second or third closest. Probably means I need to get a new out buff for this guy, but it's probably not a big deal. On top of that, I do have to go for an MIB because the Apache can't pop leads, nor can it pop, uh, uh, what do you call it, DDTs for the missiles. So the MIB would basically allow us to, well, hopefully shred DDTs. But we don't need it for now, so let's just work on Apache number two. And yeah, we shouldn't really be surprised that Apache is doing pretty well right now. After all, it is mostly a mid-game carry. That's where its strength is, but the problem is where it, it, it falls off late game, because it doesn't have enough ceramic damage. And well, time for Apache number two. And let's take a look at Geraldo. 
Does he have the level yet? Okay, level 15 uh, will get probably in a few rounds. But it's kind of crazy that we don't really need it right now. Just looking at, well, the mid-70s here. Two patches definitely will take us to at least the mid-80s. And there we go. We've got level 15 Geraldo. So let's go ahead. Plus one damage. Plus one damage. Again, it's not a fully 100% damage increase because the uh, Alchemist is giving either plus one damage or plus two against Moabs with, with AMD. But either way, even if it was doing like three damage, the plus one is still gonna make a pretty big difference. And once again, the difficulty with Cornfield, the reason why it's an advanced map is not because of the length of the track, it's because of, well, the amount of corn on the screen. In fact, I'd argue this is probably a harder intermediate map more than is a real advanced map. But after all, you know, NK is never really consistent with how they, um, where, where they put maps in terms of difficulty is because there's some that are all over the place. Like, for example, X-Factor. I think that one is pretty damn rough and should absolutely be in the expert category. Meanwhile, Infernal, uh, pretty simple. It's it's kind of similar to Cornfield in that the track is pretty long, but there's not a lot of space to put towers in. And I think with Apache, is that because it has full map range, like, the fact that you're getting blocked with the Corrin really even matters aside from the early game. And look at that. We got 33k, enough to pretty much build a third Apache, but as you see... We don't really even need it right now, so I'm just not going to buy it until I feel like we're in trouble. Yeah, look at that, guys. Almost 50k and counting. Now, let's just save a bit of money here. I'm going to have to buy this anyway, so just got the discount to make the mid 1.5k cheaper. And how about I just get another app off of this guy? Why not? 401, and then build my third Apache whenever we're in danger. Okay, now I can see we're kind of starting to struggle. Fortifieds, again, the high HP of the Super Ceramics make it so that it takes a long time for Apaches to take care of them with just their two damage darts and, you know, missiles, so I think it's about time. Let me just watch out 90s first, but I think we about need that third Apache now. Is that right? DTs are actually not bad, but yeah, let me go ahead and get it. And I can probably get a fourth one before the, the game ends. So yeah, when I mean Apache spam, I mean, yeah. Four Apaches. There's only so much you can afford with only about 180k to work with in Chimps mode. Apaches are like what overall? Almost 30k? So realistically, I would only be able to get like six of them at max if I spent all my money on Apaches and nothing else. And okay, maybe it's because I have to put it on my own targeting now, but it looks like on Pursuit, just fortify mobs in 92. The constant fortify mobs uh, pushes all the way to the exit, the brink of death. So I think it's about time. Let's start working on number four. We're pretty close to it. We just gotta beat one or two more rounds. All right, and let's go ahead and get number four. And what else do I need to get at this point? Well, I can't really, I probably can't afford called arms. I think I'm just gonna sit on the cash and see what I wanna do with it also. Shot with stone on last guy. 94 also pushing us pretty close. I think this round will also push us far because, well, it's a long line DTs and I think I probably gotta use my own targeting. Like, I think this round's beatable if you actually don't be lazy and use micro. All right, so watch this, guys. Remember the the rule? Straight line action is what you're looking for. So you want your Apaches to be shooting on straight lines, and also, you don't want to chase like that. The thing is, without middle path, they're really slow moving. So actually, this may not be doable, but I'll try one more time. So here we go, trying to hold the line, trying to hold the line. I think leaving it somewhere up here in the top left corner is good, but... Nope, we're falling behind. My mark was actually worse than if I leave it on Pursuit. Okay, let's drop a non-Apache tower now. So, quickly. 023 glue, and you'll see how much difference that makes. Just slowing down those DTs a little bit. Clumping up the balloon so that, like, the rockets actually use up their pierce. I think that'll make a pretty big difference, and hopefully it will allow us to beat it on mostly Pursuit. Come on. Yeah, guys, Pursuit's literally better than my micro. Heal is kind of embarrassing, but, you know... Pursuit OP. And yeah, still even with the Moplo, pushing us pretty close to the, to death. And honestly, I don't even think 98's an issue, because like it's not the group damage. Because remember, the high pierce of the explosions and the darts. I mean, it probably will make a bit of a difference, the amount of balloons this round. But I feel like this 99 is definitely going to be the hardest one. That's a no-brainer. I feel like we have enough bad damage with all those darts doing extra damage. And if this does end up being close, I could bail myself out with a quick S-mail use, but do I need to? Uh, probably. There's like ZMGs left. But they're not fortified, so I feel like this is much better, yeah. 
You see how the fortified BPs were such an issue, but like there were so many Zumagis left back there, but we're all good. And now for the second last round. The hardest one, though. And I think we're just short. Okay, so I might be able to get a fifth Apache. I was able to get another spot over here. Come on. Wow. What are the chances? I'm $4 short of the fifth um, 402. And I can buy it after popping a balloon here. Good. I think one extra Apache is good enough. Let's hope. And Verdict? No. I think the issue is that the Apaches were... We're, they were chasing behind the Moabs. They they put us further behind. So right now, I'm doing my own micro. Hoping it's better than AI this time. It's actually much closer. So I did do something good there. You know, I think I know what we could use. A tub of Amazo glue to slow it down before the Moab glue gets to it. Because as you see, the Moab glue doesn't attack for quite a while. So maybe that glue is enough to make a difference. Oh, two, one. Wow. Yeah, and that's why Geraldo's OP, folks. Not only does he give you buffs with the towers, with the damage and all that, but for $100, you can just change the outcome of a round with one yellow boy. One sticky, delicious yellow boy. And now for the bad damage. Yeah, this map is long enough that we probably have enough in the tank. Is that right? Well, actually, DZs might be an issue. Yeah. Hmm. Bad damage is a little bit worse than I thought. Let's make sure to do a good micro for when it pops. Come on. Alright, cool. And then ZMDs are going to be easy. And there it is, guys. We beat an advanced map on chimps mode. Pretty standard, I would say. With just Apaches for damage. Well, for the most part. We can take a quick look at the review map. 9k in the first guy. 250, 200, 600, and 14. And even just the rest of the towers. Like, 43k on Geraldo. Overall, the other towers took about less than 100k pop. So, Apaches did 97% of the damage, I would say. And yeah, that's it to this one. If you guys want to see me do chimps runs with other towers that I should spam, then let me know. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.